Unprecedented, but not for a long time happened. Um, Destiny's Child uh, opened up for the Stellar Awards. It was a surprise. And in in defense of Destiny's Child, Michelle Williams opened up the show. Yeah. She just invited her former bandmates, right. right, to come and sing with her. They were featured on the song. There we right. go. Yeah. They are featured on the song. She had right. a top ten number one hit. Boom. I think I, I think it was number one. When Jesus said, "There you go, say yes." yes. <laughs> So gospel dumb, gospel community fans, listeners alike, everybody had something to say and I was just wondering what you all thought about some of the controversy about uh, the way people are pitching it is that it's a secular act open up an award show. Even though Michelle is now doing gospel, mm -hmm. um, the world is just going to see the Destiny's Child open up for the Stellar Awards. Is that good? Is that bad? Should secular artists open up for award show? What do we say? What do you guys think? I think, I don't think that, I personally don't feel like there was anything wrong with it. Um, I was kind of shocked at some of the comments that I was seeing on Facebook and IG and all this other kind of stuff. And in my mind, I'm like, but wasn't you like at Beyonce's concert? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of remember the pictures you posted. Like, and then you were like, well, I don't think all this be because really now. Was he pleased with you and all that? Shaking the job right? What the fuck? Yeah. So, right. I, I don't think it, there's anything wrong with it. I thought they did a great job. Uh, I was not there, but watching the taping of it. Um, I thought they did a great job, and I thought Michelle, like, actually ushered in the Holy Spirit. I was like, wow, hallelujah. <laughs> like, that's how I felt at the end. It was just like, yes. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Now, what I will say is, I pray that um, they do not allow secular artists to inundate the whole show. Okay. Well, see, that's where it gets tricky, because, like you said, she had a top hit. It was, yeah. a, was it like number one for Yeah, it was yeah. one So, yeah. like on gospel radio all over the country <clears throat> and, um, so, I mean, she had Beyonce on her song, not saying that it wouldn't have been, it's a catchy song, it's really a nice song regardless, but, you know, a lot of artists may now get to the point where they're like, okay, if I can afford to feature uh, right. Kendrick or, you know, if I can afford to feature someone in the secular um, community to be on my song, that gives me a leg up. So, when it comes time for the awards, you can't exclude that person from the award show. Mm -hmm. They're on the song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You know what and, I mean? And then even then, if you can afford to feature a well-known secular artist on your single, that's still no guarantee. <laughs> for me, I felt like this was a moment for a healthy conversation and dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, I think that secular artists should support the Stellar Awards. I think they should be at the Stellar Awards. Um, not just because they're on the lineup, they should support it because most of them, especially if they're black, grew up on gospel music. They still listen to gospel music. I hear a buck coming. Well, I think they should support it. They should show up and support it. <laughs> Where would they be without that group? Well, no, 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 no. We're on their, we're on their No, side. we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. It's the same. They don't even, they don't even, they used to televise. Certain parts where the gospel was, but now those are even well, not yeah, even. Yeah, I'll say it. Even when they won an award, certain gospel artists, they, it wasn't televised. And then was what was the, the song that Beyonce did recently? Precious Lord, take my hand. They asked us to come say about that. That song, but. <laughs> I didn't get to see the performance. Is that what she said? Nobody asked us to come and say Precious Lord. All I'm saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> and that, was, well, that might be for her. Her little man angels behind us. <laughs> Artists 
voice on my Facebook page that they were um, feeling some kind of way they could just be honest because you got to be careful what you say on Facebook. People will attack you and then it gets ugly. Um, they were feeling some kind of way because the gospel platform is limited as it is. We are, you know, you know, competing and, and you know, pushing each other out, trying to, <laughs> trying to get on these platforms. And so now you're given a slot to people who have had a big slot for a long time. But the devil boys don't have them out there on their shows. It's just the... Uh, are, you, are you sure about that? Well, I've, I haven't seen. But the last double boys that I saw, I didn't see any. I think that's kind of where, where it starts to get really distorted because we are now making it about the platform. Exactly. When it's really supposed to be about the ministry and like what we bring. We do a good job of like excommunicating people and being like, you don't count as a Christian anymore. You know that's what I'm right, saying? Right. Because you it's like... Yeah, because you sing, because of what you sing. Because you sing and drunk in love. <laughs> <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> but, it's, okay. but it's like, you know, like, okay. we don't think about the ministry to those artists. Right. You know, that those artists are still people as well. You Should know, they and they're on the stage at their main their walk and it's not gonna like have the same effect on like maybe a Beyonce or a Kelly right. to just sit down and be like, you know, Jesus loves you and everything <laughs> like that. You know, or to knock on their door and like hand them a track, but it may have a bigger effect than singing at an award show and the experience that they have there with that group of people rather than always being judged all the time. I mean they can get that anywhere. Now here's another angle about including secular artists. I promise you, some people who, because um, it was talked about from folks who went to the Stella Awards, mm -hmm. hey y'all, this is who opened up. So I promise you, some people tuned in to watch the Stella Absolutely. Awards right. that Absolutely. have not watched it before and that's ever. Good. Yes, yeah. right. So now they're able to hear these other names that they've never heard before. Right. They continue okay. to watch okay. the nominations okay. and who won. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you say, if they continue to watch. Stuff like that. That's so it was point. just like, yeah. it's exposure too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And we need that them. exposure. We I, why not do. get that help from secular artists? Because people say the only gospel artists we have are Kirk well, Franklin, Yolanda Adams, and Don Parker. Right. And Tasha. And Erica Campbell. And Erica Campbell. And Erica Campbell. Yeah. Now her. That's it. She but loves you. Like, oh, well. And now her. She loves God. I love God. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? So what about the flip side of this whole thing, like where, um, so are we, just the awards in general, that's the other part of what, yeah. yeah, so we're Christians, we're gospel artists, inspirational artists, we, are we putting ourselves on a platform, why do we need awards, why do we accept awards, why do we feel like we need to be honored by awards when the is it because we want the glory or do we want God to get the glory? Is why is it necessary to get awards, be nominated for awards? That's like stuff that the world does or whatever. That's a different aspect. Tiny brought that up. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really troubled me a couple of weeks ago. Um, before the Stella Awards, I sat in my car and I just cried and I said, Lord, you know, as gospel artists. Um, as those who receive the Great Commission, but in song, right? We go out and we preach and, you know, go out and share and tell their poor men, women, boys and girls about Jesus' love. It, it was never supposed to be about us being stars. We were never, I mean, are we getting the award or is the award for the message in our music? Which one is it? Are we celebrating, you know, uh, ex artists up here? Or are we celebrating how their music, you know, ministered? You know, we're giving awards for CD cover artwork of the year. Are you kidding me? I wasn't really quite sure how to feel about this. And so I decided at a moment. It was a moment. Came to me. I'm not decided at that moment that being a gospel artist was pretty dumb. And just to be honest with you, I just I decided I didn't want to be one anymore. To have to keep up with the Joneses, how we look, our hair, what we say, wow. what awards you have. I mean, when I'm introduced to churches, some of them will be like, a stellar award nominee, Tanya Dallas Lewis. And sometimes, I'm just going to be honest, it bothers me that you feel like you have to say that. But then sometimes, I'll be transparent, I want them to say it. Right. You know, so it's kind of like... Lord, where am I? Have I lost my focus? Do I need to? Because it was never, Jesus was hated. What did he say? As the world hates me, it will hate you. Mm -hmm. But yet, we are the opposite, it seems. 
So I had a moment. It just mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you, just boo hoo. I was. <laughs> I what? think it's, it's validation from your peers that what you've done, the work you've put in, the dues you've paid, they got noticed. But does that mean that the person that didn't get the nomination didn't do, didn't do well. what they did or mm -hmm. aren't just as dope or whatever? You know what I mean? It's all kind of subjective. So I know I understand what you're saying. It's not that I disagree it's, with you. But it wasn't black and white. I think we would all agree it's not black it's and not. white. It's a lot of gray in between. And I think that um, it's just as important as a gospel artist or a Christian artist or whatever it may be that your life reflects what you're talking about. You know, like right. when you're giving glory to God, that your life gives glory to God because you have gospel artists that are dropping like flies. You know, in terms of moral sin or getting divorced and things right. like that. Right. Um, and for us to be that way in front of the world just kind of gives the world another reason to say, say, that's why I don't want anything to do with that. I'll serve God kind of on my own time, you know. Right. I speak for me. I will say my purpose in doing what I do is not about awards and all that. It's more so about souls and, and the kingdom and what <coughs> I'm called to do. If an award comes, hallelujah, I'll make sure I... Honey, you will. <laughs> shows. Let them sing it. God's word will not return to him void and he will choose who he wants to use when he wants to use them. King David, for instance. Do you, please don't make me go through all the crazy stuff this man did. Yeah, God loved him and he used him for his glory. Right. So Fantasia did her thing. Um, she ushered in the spirit. And so I think <laughs> she <laughs> was like, I the split was like again. I don't know. I feel. I don't know. I, I, I'm again black and white. I'm, there's gray there. I, I don't. I don't have a problem with secular artists singing gospel music. Now, if you're gonna come out with an album, but then you're still doing drunk and love, well, then that obviously sends a mixed message, right? But Beyonce never got on the Stella Award stage and declared she was a gospel artist again. She was. There. She was a feature. Yeah. She's just one of the most famous. And is that performing though? Are yeah. they performing? Because when Fantasia sings that, I guarantee you, she means it from the bottom of her heart. So what, how do we draw the line as gospel artists? I mean, this is what we do. Right. We know that more than likely we're not going to have the fame and the, the bins and the million dollar houses and things like that. I, I Don't stone me, but I think sometimes <laughs> for me, it is performing. Um, it is, it, sometimes it's borderline performing and a little bit of ministering. And I, I'm, I'm going to have to blame the black church. And I'm only going to do that because I'm in the black church. Mm -hmm. Talk. We Speak. want to be entertained. Speak about yes. That's Speak it. about it. it. You want somebody to jump up and scream yeah. and shout and call in the face yes. and spit on the microphone and all that foolishness. <laughs> and, 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 that's what we like. That's what we like. Yeah. Which is why I kind of gravitate towards um, CCM because they're more interested in your heart. Right. Right. They don't right. care how many runs you can do. For those who don't know. Oh yes, um, contemporary, contemporary Christian music. music. Yeah. Yes, more but like I was just gonna say white people. <laughs> <laughs> Parents shoes, uh, color coded. Tony, 
Tony Mac. Tony Mac. Mac. Yeah. I think the genre is color coded, but that's another that's another subject. Uh, yeah. But nevertheless, CCM uh, contemporary. Mm -hmm. Right. I think um, the performance aspect. Yes. Yeah. Performance aspect versus. I mean, ministry can kind of. I mean, you are ministering. Yes. You're there to minister. You have gospel lyrics. You're there to, you know, give a word, if you will. But there is a presentation. But there's a presentation that goes into what you're doing. You know what I mean? So Jesus had a presentation. Yeah, he was I mean, like great storytelling. It's tricky. That, that's, yeah, it is tricky. It's tricky. Tr but I actually usually capitalize on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> I usually capitalize on exactly that, that Jesus was a storyteller, mm -hmm. you know, and so like we engage people emotionally, we engage them intellectually, mm -hmm. we engage them spiritually. I feel like there's a time for everything, you oh, know, yeah. like when we are in worship and yeah. like the point is to help foster and facilitate mm -hmm. an atmosphere where people can encounter God yeah. and yeah. hear from Him. That is not the time to be screaming right. and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to right, show right. everybody, you know, everything you can do. Right. <laughs> That's me. Right. I usually don't speak on that. And I actually, it's so funny that you brought that up because I'm like, I'm surrounded by gospel artists. So I'm not going to say anything about it. You know, but it's like, I do feel like that. I do feel like, we're, whereas with CCM, it's like, I, I feel like consistently yes. there's more of an attention yes. towards drawing people into worship to have their encounter with God. Yes. And the biggest thing with the performance side is not to be a dis... Mm -hmm. Five, <laughs> and the biggest five. thing with the performance side is five. to... <laughs> for the sake of not being a distraction to that encounter, you know? Mm -hmm. No distraction. But Black, no distraction. <laughs> Black Gospel is amazing. It's great. Um, mm -hmm. In that, one of the differences that we have with CCM is we can do all these acrobats. We can sing from like the pit of your soul and just totally reach folks. Um, so I don't, I don't want to downgrade that. I just, I wish there was more of a, a, a balance. Right. Um, but absolutely, Jesus was a storyteller. He used um, intonation. He used uh, vocal variety. He used all kind of things. He used so it. Sometimes it is performance, like you I said. Think I think it's a matter of how people perceive it, too. The word performance mm -hmm. just makes it seem like it's about you. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ministry is like, it's yeah. not about you. But it's if it's a concert, us. is it a performance? If they're inviting you. Right. No, I get it. I'm saying that I think that's the, the viewpoint. When you okay. say, I'm performing at right. so-and-so And, -so and church. you say that, right? Yeah. right. And it's right. Like, right. Or like, say we're ministry. Right. Right. It's words. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's how people perceive It's semantics. I usually yeah, tell people, I usually use the word performing because a lot of my music, I don't, I have written maybe like four or five worship songs, but a lot of my music talk about like life and about just basically mm -hmm. walking with God yeah, like through that. different situations. Mm -hmm. So it is very storytelling. I know worship leaders and I tell them all the time, people ask me to worship lead all the time and I'm like, I don't have that gifting to draw people in, you know, mm -hmm. but I can tell you a story. I can tell you my testimony yeah. through song and through whatever else I may use. You know, and, and make you see what God's done for me and the capability of what he can do for you. Right. And that true. shows me right. that performing isn't so bad, if you look at the way she yes. has said it. Right. Because making. think about um, um, plays, gospel plays. Mm -hmm. Those people right. performing, but they're reaching people yeah. with their mm -hmm. message. So I like that. But then, on the, on the ugly side, the dark side, <laughs> so as, like that. as <laughs> gospel <laughs> artists, I, I, I told you. <laughs> The word gospel artist, I told you I declared that dumb. Just in my moment, I just decided it was the dumbest thing ever. But as artists, the, the expectations automatically change. Because when someone says to me, oh, and we have um, gospel artist uh, Ronette Harrison here, and she's going to be singing. Now I'm paying attention. I'm looking. I'm watching. Oh, she's a gospel artist, so then she better be on fleek. I'm just looking at it all. See what I'm saying? So there goes that title again. So, so now here's what I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing you all say um, the word performance, and we kind of connected that to presentation, but what you're talking about is more so um, the show. Yeah. For example, when somebody says, um, you know, the gospel artist is here, and now mm -hmm. for some people, it does change their presentation. It just, it does change the way. They do. For me, it doesn't. I am who I am. Right. But I can see for somebody. Should um, they call you a gospel artist then? For example, I don't care what you call. I'm calling <laughs> Ronnie Harris. I mean, you know, oh, that I'm here. Call me that. Call me that. No, but seriously, 
like, um, I, I'll give you an example. When I first started um, as a gospel artist and working on my project and coming out and started doing concerts and stuff, the atmosphere changed mm -hmm. when I was in a setting where there were other gospel, gospel artists. artists or just singers, musicians. The reason is because, I'm sorry to say it, but I'm just going to be real, you know, um, a lot of them sit in judgment mm. instead of sitting and mm. wanting to bring in the presence Mercy. of the Holy Spirit. Preach right. it. So instead of us getting with exactly. each other and yes. supporting each yes. other to lift up the name of Jesus, yes. tell everybody, yes. we too busy sitting like this. Yeah. Let's what see she what got? she got? I'm going to do it better. Uh -huh. That's what right. my name. I mean, down to what you got on, my yeah. how you got up on stage, mm -hmm. who you came in she with, complete who's that playing for you, right. what happened with your track, how you got off stage, oh, did God. you cut a step, how did you shout, mm -hmm. how was your band sound, how did the right. audience shout? react I mean, it's right. just so much, it it's so much, and um, you know, I thank God that all artists, in this area are not like that but right. there is that pocket of people so now we've come from the performance presentation piece which is what I think you were addressing mm -hmm. right. to the show type it's deal show which time. is what you talked about the ugly side of right. it yeah. so I do believe in the presentation side yes there should be a presentation for example my first, my very first time, so I will never forget. I was so used to being a background singer that I literally stood beside my singers. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> and they were like trying to move me out. <laughs> I was like, girl, girl, girl right here. Right on the soprano, come over here. But um, I had to learn to step out to the center. I had to learn how to engage the audience because I had a tendency to, um, with my nerves, close my eyes. So I was yeah. saying with my eyes closed, but I can't reach people with my eyes closed. I can't right. connect with them with right. my eyes closed. Right. So now I'm a lot more free and even engaging the audience and talking to them in the middle of the song. That part I do believe in. The, um, That's the a performance That's right. That's right. A performance but film. but the, yeah. the show thing, you know, me feeling the pressure to do a million and one runs, no thank you, you can have it. <laughs>